Hi, I'm Zach, and I'd like to show you how easy it is to set up and use the integration between Service Sidekick and QuickBooks Online. So we'll see here I have two tabs open. I'm logged into a brand new Service Sidekick account in the first tab, and I'm on the setup page, which is the default page that allows you to get set up quickly. I have another tab open, which is QuickBooks Online. Um, I'm actually looking at my products and services list here for a demo account. Uh, we can also go in and take a look at our customer list. We'll see I have a few customers in here as well. So what I'd like to do is set up the integration and uh, have those customers flow over to Service Sidekick and have those items come over as well so I can create and manage jobs and estimates within Service Sidekick and later push them back to QuickBooks automatically. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll go uh, start with the first step. This is uh, fairly uh, simple here. In fact, I won't even spend a lot of time filling this out. This is simply the address and city and state that you'd like to appear on various screens within Service Sidekick. Um, the more interesting portion is the second step here, um, where we can choose our integration mode. In this case, let's go ahead and choose QuickBooks Online integration. We'll click Update. And a new section will appear, which actually allows you, once you set the mode, to set up the integration. And you'll see there are a number of steps here to do that. So let's go ahead and see how quickly we can do this. All we'll need to do is click on this link, um, which opens up a new window. And we'll see this is a simple wizard that Intuit provides us. And what this basically does is just ensures that you do, in fact, want to grant service sidekick permission to your accounting um, uh, system and these are just some steps to ensure that so basically we just go through this simple interview we'll just click continue through here all of this is very straightforward you can certainly read more about it as you go through on your own time the only thing I want to point out is this step called login security this is the only tricky part you do need to turn off login security and before um, you say wait a minute why would I want to do that just know that this is not doing anything scary what this is simply doing is it's allowing us to um, securely store the, uh, store the connection to integrate with QuickBooks Online and then by default you can have permissions to share that with another employee. Um, for example, let's say you have a bookkeeper or an accountant who you'd like to log in and do some things and help you with your books within Service Sidekick. Um, because we're enabling this no here, that gives you the option to share this connection with them. Um, but not a requirement. By default, only you, the account owner, will have permission to integrate. So we're going to click Create Connection, and we'll go straight through, and we get a congratulations. We are done. So let's click Finish. This will close the screen, and we're right back to where we started, and we'll see this big button at the bottom that says Synchronize the QuickBooks Online. So we'll click that, and we'll get a nice little message here that says Starting Sync. Um, this shouldn't take that long, really. We do this quite quickly, um, although if you have a very large account with lots of customers, uh, it could take a little bit of time to get over. Let's click OK here, and there's that refresh link at the bottom, which we can click here, um, and it looks like we've gone ahead and actually finished the setup. So let's go ahead and click on the Customers tab, um, and you'll see um, that we do have this customer list already imported from QuickBooks Online. Um, in addition, if we go into the Settings tab um, and we'll go to the Item list, we should see that, in fact, we do have um, our items brought over from QuickBooks Online. Um, so that's very, very great. Um, so in just uh, two or three minutes, we've gone ahead and set this up. The integration is completely set up. Now let's see how easy it is to put push information back uh, from Service Sidekick into QuickBooks. Let's go ahead and just... We'll choose the Baz Corporation here. We'll just choose any of these customers. And let's create a new job. And we'll just call this a test job. And we won't bother with scheduling this or assigning this to a technician. This is uh, just a job for the purposes of demonstrating how we pass information back. Um, and so we won't bother again with all of these um, uh, job attributes here. Let's go ahead and just build, uh, build for the job and push it back um, to... QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to bill out for three gadgets here at $13.99 and let's put some hours in here, some labor. So we work for 3.5 hours at $99 an hour. <coughs> and there we have um, a job. I can go ahead and click this Mark Job Complete here 
click OK, and there'll be a link that just says uh, sync with QuickBooks Online. I can go ahead and click this, and this will push it over automatically um, with just uh, within a few seconds. Um, so again, uh, it took us a couple minutes to set this up, and then a minute later, we've actually synchronized our first job with QuickBooks. Let's go ahead and go back in. Let's go into Baz. And we should see this invoice appear here. And again, this is it's not fully set up as a customer because uh, a lot of this is, is demo information. But you'll see here that the information that I actually uh, typed in uh, did, in fact, come over and an invoice was created automatically. Um, what's really neat about this is we can actually go in here and change, um, uh, change this. So let's say we made a mistake and we forgot to bill for something. Let's go ahead and add a line item. Let's save this. So now this job has changed from 400 something to 532. I can go back up to this QuickBooks link in the top right and click on this. This gets me to another QuickBooks integration page, which just allows me to synchronize on a more of a generic basis. This will run the sync and uh, synchronize new items that you might have entered in, uh, new payments or invoices. We synchronize with quite a bit. Um, we'll let this run for a second and then we're going to go ahead and click back into this test job and we should see here just a few seconds later um, this new uh, line item has come over so we do synchronize both ways. So uh, the really great thing about this is that uh, you can still keep using your QuickBooks online for what it's great at which is accounting, uh, taxes, ARs, um, things like that, or your back office. Um, what it's not good for is scheduling, dispatching, um, a shared calendar. All of these things are things that uh, we serve as Psychic Excels on, managing your um, your customer flow line and the, the doing of the job so you can complete your work um, and, and, and then bill for it. So I hope this has been useful. We've done a whirlwind tour here, um, but I hope this was um, uh, a, a good first insight into how Service Sidekick can seamlessly integrate with QuickBooks Online. Thanks.